Hello! In this video, let's figure out how to find maximizing revenue when we're given a demand function. Uh, and so I've got this problem right here, but it's a typical thing that you might be asked to do, figure out what price and quantity maximizes revenue. So the, the what you could do is plug in prices and multiply those prices by the quantity and then see what's what's the highest but that would take a long time so the fast way to do it is to find uh, the marginal revenue okay so marginal revenue is going to be the additional revenue earned by the firm uh, from selling additional products now if we set that to zero that's going to give us our, our answer okay so uh, the reason that is is because when marginal revenue is negative, then it's taking away from total revenue. And when marginal revenue is positive, it's increasing. So we want to find the point on the demand curve, which is a quantity and price combination, where marginal revenue is zero. In other words, we've maximized our total revenue. So currently, we've got this problem for cricket bats. Uh, it's 15 rupees per bat and the question is, is this the best price to charge to maximize revenue so uh, let's let's figure out what our total revenue actually is so total revenue equals price times quantity okay so in this case uh, we've got a price of 15 rupees we're gonna plug that in there and see how many um, rupees we're gonna I'm sorry, how many bats we're going to sell with that, with that rupee price. So we'll just plug it in there. So it's 5 times 15 rupees. So that's 75. So 400 minus 75 is 325. So we're earning maybe 15 rupees times, uh, what was the quantity again? Oops. Quantity was 325. So total revenue equals 15 times 325. And that gives us 15 times 325. It gives us 4,875 rupees. 4,800. 75 rupees okay so that's that's what our current total revenue is so we're going to see if we can beat that so what you need to do is rearrange this function so that it's a function where price is equal to some uh, quantity okay so uh, let's let's do that okay so we're going to rearrange so I'm going to rewrite this as this is called an inverse demand curve. So I got 5p equals 400 minus q. Okay, and then p equals whatever that is. 400 divided by 5 is 80. 80 minus, uh, so it's 1 fifth, which is 0.2. You can write it as 1 fifth if you want. Okay. So this gives us our, um, our price function, our inverse demand function rather, and now we want to know what total revenue is. So total revenue is just price times quantity. We know price, so we're going to multiply quantity. And I'm just going to do that right real quick here. 0.2q, and then that's I'm going to cheat just a little bit because I'm in paint squared. Okay, so this is our total revenue. So to get marginal revenue, marginal revenue is the partial derivative with respect to Q of our total revenue function. So um, we'll just do that right here. Do that in uh, red. Okay, so marginal revenue, just taking the derivative of that total revenue function, it's just 80 minus 0.4 Q. Okay, so this is marginal revenue. Now I need to set that equal to zero. So zero equals 80 minus 0 0.4 Q. It's gonna give me a quantity, 0 
0.4. Q equals 80. And then I ran out of room, so I'll put this over here. Q equals 80 divided by 0.4, which is 200. So we should sell. So the revenue maximizing quantity is 200. Now I want to plug in 200 back into, it's your choice, either either one there. It's probably easier to go into this one to get the price there. This is going to be the price that maximizes revenue. So uh, P equals 80 minus 0.2 or 0 0.2 times 200. Is this 200 times 0.2? It's 40, and 40 minus, or sorry, 80 minus 40. 80 minus 40 is 40. Okay, so the price should be 40. The quantity should be 200. Let's see what our red total revenue gives us. So we're going to charge 40 rupees. We'll multiply that by 200. And what do we get there? So 40 times 200 is 8,000. We basically doubled our revenue. So this is the most. And you can check this if you want by putting in 201 uh, into, your, uh, into your function here, getting a price. And then uh, multiplying that out, seeing seeing what you get there, you probably get a lower number. And then, well, you definitely get a lower number. And you could do um, 199, and that would give you um, that total revenue. So, if not, indicate what price you should charge. So that that's how to do it. Okay. So, so steps again, just to recap, you're going to find the inverse demand function, multiply that by Q or quantity to get total revenue. Then find the take the partial derivative with respect to Q of the total revenue function that gives you marginal revenue. Just set marginal revenue to zero. Solve for Q. Find the price, and that price and quantity combination maximizes your revenue.